Good afternoon. It's another beautiful day to talk about topics in radiography. Today I wanted to uh, touch base on uh, one of the entry level, uh, you know, first, second semester issues that some of my students have had, and that is telling the difference between inverse square law and density maintenance formula, knowing which one to use when, and uh, proper application of the formulas. Um, this will be great because I can probably link to this in uh, one of my online contents uh, for, for the courses there and, and hopefully this will serve as a uh, extra resource uh, to those students who I uh, just don't have time to go this far into detail uh, with in class, uh, you know, due to time limitations and whatnot. Anyhow, let's take a look at this example. Uh, it says a radiographic exposure of the chest was taken at a distance of 72 inches using 10 mass and had an exposure of 50 millirankin. What would the exposure be at a distance of 80 inches? Okay, so our first trick is to find out which formula we're going to use. In, or, in order to determine that, we need to look at what is being asked. So the very last sentence here, what would the exposure be? The exposure. Uh, so, let's see. Exposure is kind of synonymous with intensity. Uh, so out of the two formulas, uh, the inverse square law deals with intensity and the density maintenance formula deals with mass. So uh, as a variable, the inverse square law is the only one I really have to work with here uh, according to this word. Now you can get confused because I did this on purpose, but I chose variables uh, such as SID. I also chose the mass uh, right here, um, just to kind of throw you off, but the real question is exposure, and we're going to be dealing with uh, 50 millirankin. I hope I didn't uh, smudge that out too much here. I uh, still want you to be able to read it here. Let's get rid of some of that. Okay, so let's dive into this here. Uh, first, our formula, intensity 1 over intensity 2 equals distance 2, remember it's inverse squared, meaning it's on the opposite side of the uh, equation here, uh, numerator versus denominator. So d2 squared over d1 squared, and you'll have to uh, forgive my sloppy writing here, I've got a uh, digital pen tablet which is not quite the same as writing as, uh, you know, with a pencil or a pen. Uh, anyway, back to our formula here. Uh, intensity 1 over intensity 2. Let's define our values here. Um, and I like to just kind of draw this in uh, just for, let's do it over here, just for the sake of keeping our structured equations the same. We're just filling in four values here. Uh, intensity 1 we are going to define as 50 because that was the original intensity. Uh, intensity 2, that's what we're asking for. So we're going to put 50 over x equals d2 squared. So our second dense distance uh, found right here is going to be 80. And our first distance is right here, uh, 72 inches. All right, so the very first thing that I like to do, uh, you can do this or not do it. Uh, some people like to do it out, uh, calculate it all with a calculator, but I like to reduce before I do any sort of cross multiplying or, or uh, squaring of anything here. So I know that each of these numbers uh, on the right of the equal sign are divisible by 8. So I'm just going to kind of cross these out, uh, divide 80 by 8 to get 10. 72 divided by 8 is 9, so we got 10 over 9, uh, and we have to square those. Don't forget to square them. Remember, it's the distance is squared, so 10 squared is going to be 100 over uh, 9 squared is 81. Now here's where I like to pull the calculator out. Uh, we're going to cross multiply here. Ooh, let's go this way. So 50 times 81. Let's just type that in real quick. We get 4,050. So I'm going to put that over here. 
equals 100 times x. Now to get x by itself, we're going to divide by 100, both sides of the equation. So we're going to get 40.5 equals x. And don't forget, this is the most important part, and a lot of people do this. They forget to write the uh, unit of measurement here, the increment that you're working with. We're looking at uh, millirenkin. So let's make sure to write 40.5 millirenkin. That is your answer. Uh, that's the new exposure rate at the new distance of 80 inches. Um, you know, keep in mind that uh, some questions are going to give you rounding instructions. Make sure to round appropriately when you do these and uh, write out your units all the time. Well, I hope this helps a little bit. Um, I hope you get in, in touch with me more here on my YouTube channel as I post new videos. Uh, please subscribe and uh, check for uh, additional ones probably weekly here at least. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.